All right, in this video, this is going to be a comparison by request of one of my viewers. They wanted to see a comparison of rendering volumetrics with CUDA versus optics. Now, keep in mind, both of these tests are going to be done with two uh, RTX 2060 Supers. One of the tests is going to be in CUDA, and the other one's going to be in optics. Now, um, I'm only going to render 1,024 samples because I don't want to be here all day long. I do have um, where is it? Optics uh, AI Denoise are turned on, and it's going to be rendering in CUDA the first time around. Now I do not have volumetrics for this, um, you know, completely lined out in terms of for this exact scene because I did not actually this this scene does not have volumetrics. I added it to it just for this test. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this just so you don't have to wait because as you can see here it's going to take about an hour per a frame and that's yeah it's going to be a while. So let me fast forward through this and I'll be back to you here in a minute. And that right there is why I do not do a lot of volumetrics. It takes forever. You can see it took one hour and 19 minutes, and that's with two RTX 2060 Supers. Now, granted, this is probably not the best example of uh, volumetrics because I'm not that good at it. But let me go ahead and, uh, and I didn't mention this before, and I should have. There is only uh, three light sources in this room. You have the light coming in through the window, you have the light coming off the monitor, and if you consider the light inside, well, I, you know, I take it back, it's more than three. There's, you got the light inside this lamp, the light inside the computer, you got the monitors, you got a lamp up here you can see a reflection of, plus the, the light coming in the, through the window, but of course the bulk of the light is coming from the window. All right, now let me go ahead and uh, change this over to optics. All right, using both cards, let me go to slot two. And uh, also, I just want to let you know that uh, my temperatures on these RTX cards got up to around 67, between six, it kind of bounced between 67 and 70 degrees C. Just a little tidbit of information some people may find useful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this. And I'll be back with you shortly. It looks like it's finished and it took uh, 45 minutes to render this in optics and what was it 79 minutes yeah 79 minutes to render it in uh, CUDA so it was 33 minutes quicker let me uh, kind of zoom in and see if there's any differences now this is CUDA and this is optics I can't see any difference let me come over here. 
I'm kind of having a weird shadow deal right here. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that weird looking shadow. It doesn't look right. It must be something with the materials on this lamp. But let me... Now this is optics. And let me switch over to CUDA. See, there is a difference in that shadow. But it still doesn't look right. It actually looks more like it's supposed to in optics. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Is optics quicker for volumetrics? Absolutely. It went from uh, 79 minutes down to 45 minutes. And for the most part, it's identical in output. But there's something weird going on with this lamp. But I think it's, it has to do with the materials of this lamp. Now... I do plan on um, buying e-cycles for uh, Blender and if you don't know what e-cycles is it's basically an optimized version of uh, the cycles rendering engine and it works with RTX pardon me it works with optics or CUDA and it's supposed to be quite a bit quicker than either one of them so I will be doing a, probably a follow-up video of that once I actually buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. That way I can render a frame um, with everything set up exactly like it is. And I guess I'll see you next time. Later, people.